So, Gaijin's taken a stance on rewards, and it seems like people are still bickering over it, some not even understanding basic algebra, which is astounding considering that only one person called out the formulas behind these two infamous posts, proving once again that the average writer's IQ goes 30, line up 20, retard. These two posts were flat wrong. The correct formula to find the average rewards for a given win rate is this, where W is the win rate, capital C is the victory constant, and lowercase c is the loss constant. Starting with the world numbers, assuming that the global average win rate is 50%, and that everyone performs the exact same every single match, there is no change to net reward gains at all. Though one Spanish Avenger made an excellent point here. Raw math of this caliber cannot model rewards in-game well at all, with factors such as player lineups, premium event vehicles, maps, one-death levers, cast versus SBA, as well as just dumb luck. With so many ways to die early, it stands to reason that the average winning team will gain more points on average than the losing team, and thus the graph needs to be modified accordingly, where it now shows that doing 90% as much work on a loss drops the break-even win rate to 48%, 3 fourths, 42, half 33, and a quarter just 20% meaning that people earn more rewards on average of the old system flat out, regardless of skill level. Though this raises another question, why would Gaijin only give the option to equalize the rewards further, but not increase the difference? Hmm. There also should be pause to understand what effects this will have on player behavior, most noticeably its impact on one death levers in ground. The closer the rewards for a win and loss are, the more profitable this tactic becomes. Why bother using a full lineup to win a match when losing in a premium tank will net more rewards per hour? A similar effect can be seen with Bombers and Araby, since they are no longer capable of winning matches on their own. So what's the point in risking rearming? Why not just run away for 25 minutes? The new system would only be rewarding terrible behavior. Another important grievance Spanish Avenger brings up is the low rewards for doing well in a loss, which, realistically, has an easy solution. The way to reward people for carrying despite losing would be to make the end of battle rewards such as Heavy Metal Hero and Fighter Rescuer worth much much more than the pitiful amount they are now. But don't bring the reward gains closer for wins and losses. Doing so would take the thrill from victory and the somberness from defeat, leaving nothing left but the cold, emotionless grind and stat chasers. Where's the fun in that? So I must encourage everyone to protest this change considering its many negative effects. The vote ended up close enough that Gaijin might postpone it. Also, do this form. The data is super important to not only reinforcing this proof, but bringing the community to consensus. And now for the YouTube post commentary. For a start, too many people just didn't watch the video, so do that before commenting. Some nerds wanted a better explanation on the math, and others failed Algebra 1. So here's the Desmos link explaining the refined formula. And here's a diagram. Got it? Good, now to the hot takes. Starting with not enough rewards and defeats, the proof was already laid out, now it just needs data. So here's a form, post a pic of your games, and the results will be public for everyone to confirm the theory is correct. And by extension, proving which helps newer players more. It's been one day and I'm already tired of muh anecdotes. I've never seen dumber takes in my life on one death leaving. It's actually astounding the hoops people will jump through just to be right, even in defining it. It can either be someone who takes one tank in a lineup, or will leave after one spawn if they're on the back foot. Either way, the math works out the same in a stable performing lower win rate tactic, which, plugged into the formula, shows that the newer model favors this tactic more than the older one. Sure, the rewards per match are lower, but the matches per hour are higher. Total battle time per hour is similar. Denying the truth here just proves that you failed algebra one. Certain lineups do have lower win rates, but the system isn't responsible for balance. Either SL costs will match it, or the BR will change to match the SL. The main problem is how slow the system is to react, especially for things nobody touches. On people wanting the same rewards for wins and losses, you do realize what that entails, right? Objective play will become meaningless, the only thing that would matter is muck KD. In short, the old system was better even for worse players, and this guy might be a plant, maybe he's just a retard, but most likely he's just some five head who can't admit they're wrong. I don't know anymore, he just reminds me of Matt Watson.